shout out to Brenda Shaner Thalen from Sioux City, Iowa, home of our affiliate KTIV News 4. Mm. Brenda made this amazing pumpkin art for us. Look how good you look, Drew. By the way, I will say, I totally recognize myself immediately. 100%. Okay, well, next we have a fantastic guest joining us. You know her from what I like about you and as a key player in almost every single Ryan Murphy's merry band of actors, all the shows. She's currently in two roles in American Horror Story double feature. <laughs> Ryan Murphy has like taken over the world with his storytelling <laughs> and his franchises. What's it like to be a part of that tribe? It's a dream come true. The greatest thing I could have asked for as an actor. It's the most fun and also personally incredibly rewarding. Um, these people have all become my dearest friends. Mm -hmm. So, and not just the actors in the show, but the crew and I mean, and every department we're all super close. And also the work is intense. You know, the hours are long, the subject matter is intense. So you really like, you're in the trenches together. So you kind of trauma bond to everybody in the best way. Oh, I trauma love that. Bond. <laughs> but that makes it sound traumatic. It's yeah. not traumatic. It's fun. But you know, when you the work in- The good kind. There you yeah. go. Okay. Exactly. Are you guys ready to hit a few headlines? Yes, yeah, we help. All right. First, right. we're going to start with uh, Nightmare First Dates. We've all had them, but can you top this one? The New York Post reports TikTokers Elise Myers went viral. It all started when she got a message from a man on a dating app that said, I like your face, let's get some food. <laughs> Elise drove to his house, then he directed her to the nearest Taco Bell drive through and then this happened. This is just a snippet. Take a look. We get to the speaker and he just leans over and goes, I would like 100 hard shell tacos, thank you. We get to the window. He does one of these numbers. And I'm like, did you forget your wallet? He's like, yeah. I was like, do you need me to pay? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> what? She's a great storyteller, by the way. You have to watch this video. She yeah. is her comedic timing, her dry tone. Um, and she's super cute. She's married now, and she calls her current husband a total smoke show. But, <laughs> Elise, I am dying for you to come on the news and talk dating. Will you please come here? Please. We love you. <laughs> yeah. He ordered 100 tacos. Girl, that's nacho man, okay? <laughs> that's not good. And apparently, it didn't stop there. Back at his place, they ate their tacos in silence. And oh, then dear. his dad, who was there, leaned over and asked Elise if she wanted to go see his studio creepy uh that's when she took the rest of the tacos and ran out the door mm -hmm. that was her worst first date ever do you have a worst first date oh yes i do oh i'd love to hear about it somebody asked me out and i was looking forward to it and i showed up and the first thing he said to me as soon as he looked at me was well you're wearing a lot of makeup was the oh. first thing he said. And i was like well this is a bad tone to start this off with so we got in the car and um he talked about his ex-girlfriend the entire time in the car at the dinner and then I was like, I, I got to get out of this. And he was like, no, but wait, I have a birthday party, a friend's birthday party. I'd love if you'd come. And I was like, maybe this is where things are going to take a better turn. And we went to the birthday party, and he did not speak to me or acknowledge me the entire time. And then I, I finally got home, and then he called me the next day and said, I had the greatest time with you, and I would really love to see you again. And I just felt like, did I hallucinate this entire experience? What? Like, was this a dream that I had that isn't a real thing? It wasn't great. What did you say? What Did you let him I off said, easy? I said, no. I said, that was the single worst <laughs> thing I've ever had. Really? Yes. really? Yes. And that is how future. I felt. That's exactly. And I said, you literally did not look at me or speak to me and spoke about your ex-girlfriend the entire time. You got to do better. You got to do better. <laughs> oh my God! So I love you more for yeah. more and more and more. <laughs> Leslie, I would love if you'd take the next story. Okay, for your next date, good or bad, why not try out the kitten heel? In Style reports it's the next big shoe trend. People are leaning into the teeny tiny heels and sandals, slings, and even boots. Drew. Do kitten heels make you want to purr or hiss? Hiss, for sure. Oh, no, I really? have short legs. I'll give you an example. Those Here are great. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'll show you, you why. You know she's serious she comes in front of the desk. Do you see my legs? Mm-hmm. Oh, there she goes. Okay. That's my real leg. <laughs> <laughs> do you want that leg? Or this leg? Oh, my God. So... 
we all have our assets yeah. and we all have, you know, our other things. But I know how to work with what I got and I can't support the kitten heel. I have to say, I do like a kitten heel. I, I feel like it's sort of that in-between world of I don't have to commit to a big heel and I can, but it's a little fancier than a flat. It, it has its place. I sort of am rooting for a kitten heel. When I see it, it's like, you know, it's like a little heel that one day will grow up to be a big heel. <laughs> <laughs> like, you've got this. You've got this. Well, actually, speaking of things that grow up, I think this is a perfect transition. Okay. Um, I really wanted to ask you, Leslie, before we go, we're rounding the quarter um, to November which is National Adoption Awareness Month. And I was really moved by your history with this particular pertinent, meaningful subject. And I was wondering if you would enlighten us about your journey. I am thrilled that you wanted to talk about this today because this is my most favorite thing on earth to talk about. I was lucky enough to be adopted and my daughter is adopted. Mm -hmm. So I know it from both sides. And to me, it's been the most magical, incredible life-affirming experience. Um, I don't know how I could love my daughter any more than I do. I couldn't. And I don't know how I could love my parents any more than I do. Adoption has been talked about since I was a kid growing up like in the 80s. It was sort of this like sad lifetime movie yeah. discussion. And I just never, ever had that experience. And even as a little kid, I was always like, I'm adopted because mm -hmm. I'm so special. And I just always feel like if you're adopted, I don't know if you could have been wanted any more than you are. I mean, you're the most wanted kid. So I love your journey. I celebrate you. Thank you. Thank you for telling that story. I really, I. <laughs> <laughs> Let's adopt each other now. Yes, exactly. Oh, Leslie, Leslie, thank you so thank much you. for it's coming to joy. the news desk and making it a better place. Thank you. Thank you for having me. This was so much fun. Oh, you could all watch American Horror Story double feature right now.